welcome back to the channel folks uh, I just recently went camping uh, I used the range TP in the last video and uh, well this is my bedroll that I use so uh, I was going to show you today uh, how I set my bedroll up and what I use uh, this is a trail max from Montana I think yeah Columbia Falls Montana so these are quite expensive, I think. I got this one on a really good deal, so I bought this. You can get a regular piece of canvas, honestly. You get some, literally regular canvas. You can make yourself a bedroll. But I'm gonna show you how I set it up and what I use inside. So, come on, folks. All right. Let's see if we're in frame there. Perfect. All right, folks, so like I said, I didn't have to make this bedroll. I just bought it. Well, I'd put everything in it, but the actual canvas part, didn't have to make. But in lieu, it's a pretty good cowboy bedroll. And it's pretty warm, the way I got this thing set up. So I'm literally just going to show you what I do. If he's ever breaking, we'll put some leather straps on it because I think that'll be way easier. But, there we go. That was easy. That's what I love about these things. They just set up really easy. But, these things, they got zippers on them. So. There you go. It's all done. That's my bedroll. Sort of. I'm going to get you a closer look at it. All right. I know what most of y'all are thinking. Uh, oh, he's got a Pendleton blanket on here. Uh, yeah. I have a Pendleton wool blanket on here. But uh, it's really warm. And like all things, I got it on a good deal, just like the bedroll. So I figured, you know what? Why not? So I got this one wool blanket. I have just a loose sheet. Goes inside this. Uh, actually, I don't even know why I don't have that back inside there. But got that fitted sheet over a two inch piece of memory foam. Now, this memory foam right here was about two foot longer. This is what 86 or sorry, 78 inches long. I cut it just about 79 inches, just a little bit long. That's no big deal though because it fits better down there in the end. Put the fitted sheet over it. Put that one on. Throw that on. Uh, that's basically all there is to this thing. You don't have to spend a whole lot. The foam was $30 on Amazon, I think. Uh, if you got a twin size fitted sheet and another sheet, uh, use those your mom's probably got one laying around as far as the blanket goes you can get a surplus army wool blanket anywhere I mean surplus store use one of those or get in your mom's closet when she isn't looking and find a quilt so that's about all you need this thing also has a dull zipper and you can open it to where it's 15 feet long and but you don't really need to do that. So. And then from there, all you gotta do is roll the thing up. And once you got it zip back up, pretty easy to roll right, bear it right back up. Kinda, with that foam, you gotta get a little bit of grip on it, but once you got that first round, stay on top of it. Wipe the grass away. Pull your flap back over. And if you did it right, which I didn't, you shouldn't have to mess with getting those. Go through that loop. Back down in there. K 
potatoes, people. A little warm. Pen! That's how you set it up. And, folks, uh, that's basically it. That's how I set my stuff up. Uh, pillow. I don't really want to crush my pillow so I don't stick it in there. Uh, although I have. It does fit in this flap right here. And you can just ride in with it. Uh, but, yeah, that's basically how I set it up. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Also, remember, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You, you don't have to go out and drop three, four hundred dollars to get your bed rail set up. Uh, like I said, if you just get a regular piece of 12, I can't remember what ounce canvas it is, but just get your regular piece of canvas, lighter weight or heavier. You can get 13 ounce canvas like that tent's made out of, but get that, measure it out how you want it. Uh, piece of foam off of Amazon and your mama sheets and quilt from her closet. So. Anyways, hey, I hope you folks enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed camping. I was up in Idaho, caught some fish, uh, did a lot of hiking, got some bruises too from the rock, but uh, definitely had a good time. So if you like what I'm what, what I'm doing here, please leave a like and comment, uh, and I look forward to seeing y'all on the next video. So y'all have a good one. So My lid actually wouldn't work for this. Oh, oh, I'd say they're about done. They're good. They're yeah. Near. That's good. Uh, that's if you wait cool. any longer, I'm afraid those will get burnt. Yeah. That'll do it. My only fear is that is a